Hi everyone, I'm Tan Pei Wei from Group 3. These are the names of the members in our group. Today we would like to introduce a novel to you through a digital book review. Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald is the book that we decided to read. This book was published on 10 April 1925 and it has a total of 193 pages. This book belongs to the trilogy genre, so let's start our review of this book with the summary. The storyline of the book is provided by Nick, who described the happenings of the summer of 1922 after moving into the fictional Long Island of West Egg. He stayed there among the newly wealthy, while his cousin Daisy and her violently wealthy husband Tom reside across the water in the more affluent village of East Egg. Nick eventually received an invitation to one of the Gatsby fancy parties as the summer goes on. Nick sent an invitation to Daisy to fulfill Gatsby's request, and there they rekindled their relationship. Tom meets Gatsby at Plaza Hotel as soon as he learns the, of the affair. Daisy tries to calm them down, but Gatsby insists that he and Daisy have always been in love, and that she has never loved Tom. Tom exposes that he, what he found out while looking into Gatsby's affairs, that he made his money by dealing in illegal alcohol as the altercation intensifies. Gatsby tries to deny it, but Daisy has lost her resolve to leave her husband and Gatsby cause seem hopeless. Gatsby and Daisy live together in Gatsby's car with Daisy driving. On the road, she hit and killed Madly Wilson, Tom's mistress, through her identity is unknown to Daisy, who knew only that Tom had, was having an affair. Terrified, Daisy continues driving but the car is seen by witnesses. George Wilson, Madly husband, arrived in East Egg the following afternoon. Tom tells him that Gatsby killed his wife. Wilson visits Gatsby home and shoots both the man and himself. After the Tom leave from Long Island, Nick plans Gatsby's funeral. Hi, my name is Agnes Tan Suk Feng. Now I'm going to talk about the main characters in this novel. There are four main characters, such as Nick Carraway, he is the story narrator. Jay Gatsby is the main character who gives the story its name. Daisy Buchanan, she is Nick's cousin and the woman Gatsby loved but married to Tom. And Tom Buchanan is known as Daisy's husband. In this novel, there are two favorite characters that we like, which are Nick Carraway and Jay Gatsby. The reason that we like Nick Carraway is because he is a trustworthy person. Nick frequently acts as a confidant for people who have troubling secrets without telling other people. Next, we choose Jay Gatsby as our favorite character because he is an ambitious and idealistic person. In the novel, Gatsby personifies the self-made man. He is a shy young millionaire who ascended from humble beginnings in the American Midways to fame among Long Island's elite. He is obsessed with the object of his affection, particularly Daisy, his long-standing love. Hi, I'm Wong Jin Chi. I'm going to talk about themes. There are four major themes in this novel. The first one is money and materialism. Whether they were born wealthy, acquired a fortune, or are constantly seeking more, everyone in the novel is fascinated with money. Another theme is society and class. The distinction between old money and new money is stated very clearly throughout the story. And there is also a clear difference between the lifestyle of the wealthy who live on Long Island and commute freely to Manhattan, and the working class people stuck in between Muir and Queens. By the end of the novel, the Inherited Money Club is still alive while our main characters Gatsby, Myrtle, and George War of Old Money had died. The next theme is the American Dream. The American Dream is the idea anyone can make it in America through enough hard work and determination. And lastly, the fourth theme is love, desire, and relationship. Both the major characters are driven by love, desire, or both. But only Tom and Daisy's marriage last out of the novel's five major relationships and affair. Hi, I am Tasha Nivalaidam, so I will be talking about our overall opinion reading this book, recommendations and ratings for the story. To be honest, we physically struggled to finish reading the full story. There were a few chapters too dragged out with boring details or descriptions that are unnecessary to the storyline. We also encountered difficult words or terms such as penitentiary, benediction, unscrupulous, and etc. Although we had a hard time grasping the narrative, at some point reading this classic literature shows us how the writer put his full effort on writing the whole story consisting of complex symbolism, lyrical, and poetic phrases. And this was the reason for us to like the book. So, if you ask us whether this book is recommended to read, then it will be a yes from us. 
and we highly recommend this book to those readers who really like to read classic literature. Moreover, this book did a great job describing universal feelings, privileges between various social status or we can say as social issues and the power of money. The lessons run deep and the ending of the story shows the bitter truth of life. Overall, this is a wonderful novel and we will rate it 4 stars out of 5. Therefore, we would like to end this video with a closing quote we picked from the book which is We beat on, boats against the current, bond back ceaselessly into the past, on the last page of the last chapter. This quote brings a deep meaning about our struggles to move forward in life and to escape the firm grip of the past. In this poetic sentence, Caraway evokes the perfect blend of empathy and understanding. Same like Gatsby, we too see ourselves trapped in the past and unable to escape it. But despite that, we soldier on. That is all from us. Thank you for watching.